Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 158. For all you guys who are new here, I do read these characters out with different tones and voice and I kind of like act it out as a storytelling way. So yeah, some people don't like it, but some people do. So if I'm not your cup of tea, I totally understand. So here on my YouTube channel that is public, I do have to blur 50% of each panel. So yes, cat logo's going up or else my channel will get taken down. For anyone out there who do want to support me, every, every dollar counts. It means a lot to me. I do have all these reads on my Patreon page where you guys will not have to deal with the censorship of all the sensitive imageries, their blurs, and also you guys will gain early access. So let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, I'm trying to breathe. Are you all right, your majesty? Uh, nine? What about the little monster? Huh? Pardon? Uh, what? That evening, I dozed off while working this afternoon and had the strangest dream. You know how I love to collect gemstones? Well, in this dream, I went to go polish my collection as usual and I saw an egg I've never seen before. An egg? It was yellow green with a hint of gold. It was so beautiful I found it, found myself polishing it. Tweet, tweet. Oh, it's a baby bird. I imagine my surprise when a baby bird hatched from it. A baby bird. It was kind of ugly, but it also cute in its own way. But then the bird pestered me to feed it gems. Horrifyingly enough, I willingly did what it asked me to do. Ugh, what was I thinking? Anyway, after consuming the gems, it rapidly grew into an enormous size. And then it flew into the chamber of stars and begged me to give it my throne. As annoying uh, as it was, I couldn't find it in me to tell it off for some reason. Bad bird! It's good. Oh. But I was finally able to remove the giant bird from the throne with your help. Hmm? Parts of it sounds like my dream. Could the dream have been a warning about a potential traitor? I don't know, but I did have a similar dream. Explanations ensues. <gasps> so perhaps it's not an ominous as you fear. Did you know there's an, a continent, continent far away from ours? That believes if a couple shares the same dream, it means they have been blessed with a child. Pee -pee. How did he say that the the baby bird was ugly in his dream? And this is a picture of the bird. That is a cute little my little baby. Really, that seems unlikely. I've hadn't had a disruption in my monthly cycle, and even if I was with child, I'd only be two to three weeks along at most. It wouldn't be possible to know so soon. But my queen, you work from morning until night, sometimes even until dawn. Would you consider seeing a physician, even if it's just for a health check? Uh, even if I did see one, they'll just tell me I need to rest, just as they did in the Eastern Empire. The only difference is Henry might actually force me to take a break from my work. My queen. Navier, please. Oh. <sighs> Very well. The Imperial physician was certain I wasn't pregnant, having never been wrong about such a diagnosis before. However, my unease still lingered, and I insisted we wait and see. Then two weeks later. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Well, huh? It appears you are indeed expecting. Um, what? <laughs> uh, okay, so here, I'm gonna I'm pause here real quick. One, if she really is pregnant and is really, you know, doing this, 
do you know, understand how pissed off Sovetia will be? Maybe, maybe it, maybe she was fertile this whole time, or maybe that bed that Henry have her slept on with him helped her. But you know how mad he will be? He was like, oh, it could have been us. I could have went out of my way and find a solution and, and healed her womb and so she can carry my child. You know how angry Soveshu, he's gonna lose his marbles. Okay, but I really do hope she really is and that she start to show and have the baby because oh my gosh, that will be such a slap to Soveshu. Huge slap. Girl, same. <laughs> same. I can relate. Huh? Oh, 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 well then. Allow me to excuse myself. A queen. I'm with child? <sighs> Henry? <gasps> oh, don't lift her up. You gotta be careful. My queen, my beautiful wife. <laughs> that bratty little eagle must have been our baby. It wasn't bratty. It was fluffy and cute. <laughs> You're right. You'll probably be dizzy if I spun you around. He didn't seem particularly excited before we got the confirmation. He looks so happy. Oh! <laughs> the waddle! Oh! <laughs> it is too cute. This drawing is just too adorable. My child, I'm really going to be a mom. Oh. I always believed producing an heir was merely a duty I had to fulfill, and what I wanted didn't factor into it. I didn't expect it to be so exciting and terrifying at the same time. It fills me with joy to think we're having a child that we both created. Does this news please you? Does this news please you? Please you? Oh, it's from Navier. Does this news please you? Of course. <laughs> we'll be bring someone who's part you and me into this world. The Remarried Empress, episode 158. Y'all might not know, but yeah, I'm not going to disclose this since it's a YouTube channel that's public, but to have someone who is supportive of you during your pregnancy is such a blessing, okay? And to be with someone who doesn't, who's just like, well, that's your job, that's your duty, is hard because then they show how they treat you during your time of like vulnerability and you're going through a lot and you have to accept your new body or and everything like to not have that support it weighs a, a lot on you and it stresses you out so when you pick a partner you guys all the women out there pick the one who is going to be good to you during those times and will be there for you and your child after don't don't give that person a child just because they're handsome they have a lot of money but they treat you like crap no find a good guy and all the guys out there step up be a be a wonderful husband spouse who whatever to your lady or whomever you're gonna have a child with meanwhile in the eastern empire what a lovely child your majesty must be delighted to have a child who's already so endearing. The only thing that changed was the baby being born. But it feels like my whole world has turned upside down. I was the one who protected the child and cared for it while my body swelled for months. <clears throat> Everyone's disrespecting me because his majesty only pays attention to the baby. <laughs> who do you think the next empress will be? Most of the ladies who are around his majesty age are already married. Does that mean Miss Evelie's the next empress? 
That's absurd. Do you really think His Majesty will choose another commoner? I mean, look at the current one. How shameless of her to do that with someone else's money. They say that with her hearing it? Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty mean. Even though I don't like trash stuff, that's pretty mean. Like, you don't want to hear that. Even if she is a POS. Has His Majesty ever thought of me as family? No, he never has. I'm not the one His Majesty loves. I doubt he will look out for me. <laughs> uh, Viscountess Bertie? Oh. Empress Rashida seems to be having a difficult time lately. May I suggest you briefly send the baby to the West Palace? She'll just get attached if she keeps seeing the baby, which is the opposite of what I want. But it hasn't even been a month since she's given birth. Her Highness must also miss her mother's baby. I mean, <laughs> her Highness must also miss her mother's embrace. Hmm. I do still feel sorry for her since she has no she has to part with another child mm. there there sweetie Mo mommy's here yes she, she's right here she's so precious i'll never grow to hate this child no i must not give up my position so that nobody else can hate her no what 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 She's having a flashback. If you guys remember, uh, when Rasha gave birth to her first child, which is a, is a boy, um, her her owner, which is Vi Viscount, I forgot his name, start with the S, um, gave her a fake baby. It's a real baby, but it's not her baby. And that baby was not alive. And she thought her baby was gone. So she mourned that baby. But now that she knows that her real son is alive, she's also very indifferent to that child. She doesn't care, it seems like. Uh, did she just yeet the baby? Oh, your highness. Oh my gosh. What about the baby? Is she all right? Is the maid having a flashback to One moment, please. I think she had a shock. I'll tend to her. Click. Your Majesty. Please. Protect the princess. Okay. I need a moment. One. I can't believe Rashta tossed her baby. But also, I, you know, we saw that she had, she's having PTSD. She had, she had a flashback of when she was a slave and she had to carry her that she thought was her child that was unalive and she was stuck in that frame like she she saw all those images as if she was in that time frame and she yeeted that child because she was just like overwhelmed and i understand that but she did that in front of a maid and draw and drop that baby from the bed to the ground like that that's very dangerous like the baby's very fragile you know like Oh my gosh. But the maid quickly picked up the baby. I don't know if she recalled what Rasha did to the last maid. Or it was Rasha who had that flashback. But that flashback, I feel like the maid who was there saw that. and was like, oh my gosh, she's going to do the same thing to her if, you know, she goes against 
Rashta, right? So she carried that baby and ran off and went to the emperor directly and it's like, we like saved the princess. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna tell what happened, like tell him and his trusted people what happened and that's gonna be the end of it. So she's just gonna be like, yeah, Rashta, you're done. You're out of here. So I don't know. I don't know. That that was an intense moment. It my heart dropped just the thought of someone just dropping a baby, you know? Oh, okay. Anyways, what did you guys think of this episode? What we found out that Navier is pregnant. I really hope she really is and that her belly grows. Is she gonna have an egg or she's gonna really have a baby inside of her? You know, that's something I how does that work, right? And then, of course, we saw the baby. We see how adorable she is and how the people loves the baby. But people are starting to disassociate from Rashta. And Rashta feels that. And she also needed her baby. All right, guys. Um, Can't wait to read y'all's comments. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!